If you aren't familiar with data for SEO, it is a truly powerful um, API for a lot of marketing data, especially um, SEO related data that you might be using Ahrefs or SEMrush for. And this is a product that we use quite extensively. And they recently announced a MCP server. And as you can see here, it's a open public GitHub repository from data for SEO that you actually have to install on your own. And so, of course, I have to go and install it because we do use it quite a lot. And as you can see here, uh, I created a quick NADN workflow, connected it to a AI agent. And as you can see here, we have our MCP server accessible and I'll show you how I got that set up real quick and if you don't know I'm a big big fan of Coolify which helps you manage servers installations you know this is how I actually launch a lot of my NADN instances using Coolify get a server set up on Hetzner install the server on Coolify and then very quickly and rather easily once you've gone through the process of setting up Coolify, you can deploy uh, GitHub repositories straight from Coolify. So that's what I did here. As you can see, I have a uh, Coolify project set up for the MCP server for data for SEO. Just a quick side note, I did have to fork the data for SEO repository into my own version because I did make some modifications um, to make it work with Coolify, for example, I set up the Nixpax TOML file because, again, I had to make sure that make a few minor edits so that it would work within uh, Coolify. So now, as you can see here inside of N8N, I have access to all of these data for SEO tools for SEO, domain analytics, and so on and so forth. And that is all available for my AI agent. I just, again, have a very quick, simple one just to go get SERP results. And as you can see here in the system message, I am instructing it to use the D4SEO MCP client.